Now live from the campus of Louisiana Tech University, it's Jay Randall Harvey as the Big 96.1 College Recruitment Tour continues. Well, basically, we're just having fun this morning. I'm having some great conversations with some great people, and uh, Todd is in here with me. And Todd, uh, once again, what's your what's your title? I'm an assistant professor of kinesiology here at Tech. That's right. And uh, so you you've been doing this for how long now? I've been at Tech for two years, but I graduated about four years ago with my Ph.D., but my undergrad actually did come from Tech uh, mm-hmm, a few <laughs> years back. <laughs> None of us want to mention those numbers, do we? Uh, so, so we're uh, you're watching some fun here because they've had balloons all up in the, uh, the rotunda here, and they're, they're bringing them down, and and uh, I want to go out there and pop a few of them. You know, you? <laughs> yeah, it's always like fun. A, like the bubble wrap. Stress so, relief. So kinesiology is such a uh, uh, really a big in demand uh, class because I know a lot of people who who you know are taking that and there's so many different uh, avenues to go to if you when, you know when you graduate uh, there are there's there's a lot of different routes many of our students want to go into the physical therapy route or occupational therapy and many new ones now even choose to go in the uh, physician's assistant which I believe now is physician associate route the PA hmm. route. Um, they're all interested in health and fitness and trying to help other people by making the world a better place. So let's talk about something else, too, now, because you, I don't know if, I guess it's in a different class, but you're doing, uh, uh, what is it, the the police? I do. I do um, some tactical research. I work with law enforcement officers, many different agencies, especially in the region. We're doing a lot of police research to try and, again, make the world a better place. So you also have what they call the, uh, is it like the FATS or the, the Milo, which is actually, it's kind of a simulation uh, where you are put in the place of the police officer. That's correct. And and you see in front of you on the big screen, um, like a lot of police departments, El Dorado Police Department has one, and you and you get to actually be the officer. You have a, a non-working gun. And I think it's their laser. It is. Yes, yeah. it works on a laser. And so you find out how fast things go down. You find out, you know, that generally you only have like two and a half seconds to make a decision in a gunfight. And by the time, you can't really process it very well. I mean, you it happens, you, and you got to make a decision. And it's amazing how many people will come out of that and they'll say, I had no idea. That is absolutely true, and we have one of those Milo simulators in our lab as well. We've partnered with Milo out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. They're a wonderful company to work with, and we have put some of our students through a few of those simulations as well just to give people an idea of what law enforcement goes through, and then, again, we have a number of research studies that are utilizing all the technology that we have we have police agencies coming in, going through some of these simulations, and even some of the officers, if they haven't been able to experience some of these horrible situations that we hope they never have to experience in their career, we put them through it, and we add to their training. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to add to their training to give them uh, an edge up on what's about to happen or what could potentially happen. and. There are some where you said two and a half seconds. We've got some where they have to make a decision where there's no threat with an individual. In less than Mm. a third of a second, it becomes a deadly threat. So just training them on what they need to do, what they need to say. We even have studies on that because just verbal commands can play a big role in that. Absolutely. That's that's the first thing you have. Of course, uh, you know, when you arrive, your presence and then verbal commands. well, I'm glad to see you doing that. It's it's important, and uh, Louisiana Tech University is giving everybody a, like you say, a, a little edge on that, and getting a chance to see, you know, what real life is is, is about. And I see here with all the uh, the balloons and all the party things. Whatever, y'all, you guys had a big party over the weekend. We did. We I had thought these, I thought these were all for me. <laughs> <laughs> they obviously are. Well, obviously, I mean, yes. yeah. So we had Legacy Day this weekend, where we invite all the um, children of former. Tech uh, oh, cool. graduates yeah. on campus, and we give them kind of roll out the red carpet. We we give them a tour. There there was even a 
walk this weekend. I believe you spoke with our uh, president of the university, yes. Dr. Geis. He does a walk every weekend on every Saturday because he's very health conscious and us in kinesiology, we love that. <laughs> and, and there was a, a walk with many of the legacy uh, students this weekend on Saturday. That's fabulous. All right, we got. Uh, I, I wish we could talk a little more. I mean, uh, you're, you're full of all kinds of great information and everything. So, <laughs> thanks. 70s, 80s, and more. It's coming up for you. This is Big 961.